to another episode of Smoking Wax, and today I have a, a guest that you guys should be familiar with. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even running that shit back, man. Fuck, introduce yourself, my good sir. <laughs> What's good, everybody? <laughs> I am the resurrection of Michael Jackson. Just the talented part, though, not everything else. Um, AKA Yum's Awkward, AKA Mr. Right, Right, Right. It's good to be here. How you doing, Ash? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good, man. Uh, for the people who don't know, where are you from, man? I am from Hickory, North Carolina. Hell yeah. How was it How was it out there in Hickory? Because I've terrible. never been outside of California except Vegas. Nah, Hickory cool. Right? Well, it used to be cool. It's, it's kind of bad now, but you know, it's just a small little city. It's like one of those little country towns. You feel me? Uh, I love it, though. You know, that's where I was born and raised. You know, I used to talk a lot of shit about my city, but in all honesty, you know, it's... It's, it made me who I am So you know Shout out to Hickory North Carolina 828 all day you feel Hell me? yeah man So A little a little bit more in depth about that Can you describe the music scene out there For the people who might not know The music scene in Hickory North Carolina It's actually getting more diverse now I ain't even gonna lie Like I've been checking out some of the homies But when I was out there You feel me It's pretty much like you know Trap music and everything But You know we got a lot of talented people You know I'm trying to go back home Soon and throw like a little show there, you know, just to showcase all of the versatile talent we got there. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm messing with some of the heavy hitters in my city, you feel me? Shout out Killer Kane. Shout out Rello with the Beach, you feel me? Shout out Santi the Goat. Shout out my homies, bro. Hell yeah, man. So now that people know, you know, you're not from uh, California at all, how long have you uh, been out here? I will be out here, it'll be three years this nice, August. Nice, nice. Nah, you definitely yeah. made some impact, man, since you've been here. Um, uh, you know, I found out about you, you know, just going to shows and shit like two years ago, actually. So probably like a little bit mid through your first year here. Dang. It kind of was I was um, I think it was a show you were a part of, too. Not too sure. But everyone was there. It was at that 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 T spot. Oh, yeah. Classy. Hippie yeah. Tea. Classy. Hippie T. Yeah. That spot. I found out about a lot of people there. Bro, I missed that spot. yo. That was a dope spot for the people who don't know. You should definitely go on YouTube and try to find any shows from people who might have uploaded some footage or something. It's dope. Dope experience. For I got to see if they open back up. Right. Man. I might have to throw a show there. So. For real. Oh, they, they, they move location. I think he's at a coffee shop. I thought oh, okay. they just bought that shop. I didn't realize that they moved over there. I'm pretty sure they moved location. Oh, man. Yeah, I checked their Instagram the other day, and I saw that. I saw that they uh, reopened that spot because it was owned by somebody, and they shut it down, but yeah. Uh, okay, so probably open under new management type deal. But, uh, no, yeah, that's that. Yeah, so, I, you know, I've been paying attention, and, uh, yeah, man, you definitely been doing your thing. Um, how long have you been working on music? Hey, man, I've been working on music since I was five. I didn't really start taking it serious, though. Until Fuck I, like, yeah. turned 13, and I freestyled my first song, which you can still find it. It's out somewhere. It's called uh, I'll Murder You by uh, Little Young. <laughs> it's terrible. Like, I'm so much better now. Old alias? Little Young, man. <laughs> No, nah, my old idol, old alias, ex <laughs> experimental, and it was like different fonts. I had to change that shit. It was like I have so many old aliases. Like I was little crazy. young. I was awkward young. I was little Lucius Yums. Okay. And that was around the time that Big Boy dropped his. Uh, I think it was either his sophomore album or his freshman solo Ooh, album. Ooh, okay. And it was called Little Lucius Left Foot. Yeah. Okay. I see and where I, you're I going. I love that album, bro. Like loved fire. It. Loved it. So I called myself Lil Lucius Jones for a while. I was in middle school. And then I called myself, I took the Lucius out and then went by Lil Yum. And then like I started Googling myself and it popped up as Lilium. And Lilium is a flower. And I was like, okay, well, no. So then I started being Yum's the MC. And that was cool for a while. Then I joined Awkward Society, which is my group now. Took over Awkward Society and became Awkward Yum's. Switch got tired of people calling me awkward, so then I became Yums awkward. So now niggas call me Yums. <laughs> Hell yeah! See, I didn't even know about the awkward society, so I just learned something new right there. Yeah. That's something I gotta watch, look out for now. I gotta do my research, but um, yeah, man, that's that's crazy. Um, do you have any advice you you feel like you could possibly give someone coming to a new city and you know getting involved in the music scene there? Because I'm struggling myself. You know, I just moved to LA. And uh, 
I'm not tapped in with the music scene at all. I know people out there. Like, I know some dope Bro, motherfuckers. This, but the biggest way to get tapped into the music scene, because nowadays everybody do music, bro. Yeah, everybody that's facts. So just go out and make friends, you feel me? Like, go out to the club. And I know that's hard, bro. I am an introvert. I am Man. a big introvert. I am a very Tell big... Tell me about it. I, 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 I will not speak unless spoken to. Facts. And half the time, I, I don't even respond. Big on it. I, half the yep, half, half the, the time, time I don't even respond. respond. I'll be like, oh yeah, you know, one answer because like I can't talk. But real life, if you are an artist, you need to like find a little local show, go to the show, bro. Talk to the nigga before me. Be like, bro, I like your music. Can I follow you on Instagram? Tap in with that nigga. Go keep going to shows. Keep showing your face. Yep. It really take one person. Follow one person that you think is cool that you think gonna do a lot of shows or follow all. The, that's what I did, bro. I went to my first show here. And I tapped in with every artist that performed, and it led me to get my next show. But actually, Brew got me my first show because he brought me my first show. With, you uh, said Brew? Yeah. Shout Bruce out Lee. to D. Oh. Shout out to Brew Lee because he really put me on. So Brew Lee put me on my first show with John A. Lachey. And after I did that show with her, I tapped in with every artist after that, which got me more shows into the city. And shout you out to me? John A. So it's like great artist. That's another thing. Tap in with your homie. You. You, if you, you in the city with Mike, bro, Mike be right. with everybody. It that's is true. Not, I know you got artists there. I seen you in the studio with other artists. Tap in with them. Go yeah, out with them. That's true. I be do. with them, bro. Like you have artist friends. The, the, so the way Mash I done took me a bunch of places to introduce me to a bunch of people when I got facts, there because she was the only friend that I knew. I tapped in with my artist friend. Right. Because of Mash, I probably done caught a couple of shows because of people that Mash has put me with. You feel me? Tap in with your artist friends at all point, especially if you in a new city. Hell yeah. You don't know nobody. Make one good friend. They will introduce you to your other. I I guarantee you, you're gonna find somebody within one friend to another friend to another friend that's like gonna put you into what you need to be put into. Facts. No, I definitely need to do that. I just, I you know, I get. It, I don't think that personalities clash sometimes, but I be feeling like ah, I'm not gonna enjoy this shit. Like everybody's gonna be turning up. I you know I turn up sometimes, but like. I gotta be in the mood for that shit, yeah. you know. I, I don't want to. I don't want to go there with the energy of, oh, I'm only here to just talk to music people because that is the fucking energy I always bring. Like, and I gotta That's stop doing that. Thing. Yeah, you gotta actually start enjoying yourself in a party. Like, yeah. if you actually just start talking to some somebody about something else, the music conversation will come. Yeah. And that's when they get to see my real personality, though, because I get, boy, I... Bro, like, you know how many nerds is just everywhere? So I'm talking about, I was in a party, bro, and I had this jacket on, and the dude uh, walked up on me, and he had the Akoski sweater joint on, and that's what we bonded on. Come to find out, that nigga hooked up with every club out in San Francisco. That's lit. That's fucking lit. I got some. I might got a San Francisco plug. Oh, right. the anime, bro. Right. The music will come. Man. So switch it up a little bit. Um. What's one? This is a question I always ask every guest. It's just a random question, but not a random question because I ask every guest. But uh, what's one awkward moment that you remember that will always be in your head forever that you can? <laughs> what if? From a scale of one to ten. Ten. Ten? ten. I bet. Ten. So the That you don't mind telling, of course. I bet. First time I lost my virginity, boom. We oh, going deep. Let's shit. go ten. We going ten. We're Let's going get ten. it. Cause Back. mine was like that too. Not my virginity, Check but my out, shit bro. was like that so too. So I was boy. dating this girl. I was talking to this girl all the way through middle school, bro. Like all four years of middle school we were talking. And then up to my freshman year, we were talking. And like we were we were dating on and off but you know it's like middle school love and right. shit she lost her virginity while we were dating so she basically cheated on me and shit but you know you know me being a, i was a little simp i was a little punk you, you try to me? see past it type yeah shit. i tried to see past yeah, I could, it man i was I, I was i was soft bro I, was, I i cannot lie like i'm i'm sensitive now but i was soft so but you know she still you know fuck with me every once in a while bro so one day you know i go over to her crib and she's like all right cool you you want to do it we can do it you feel me and I've been lying to her the whole time and telling her that I'm not a virgin. <laughs> I told her before we did it that, you know, hey, look, I'm a virgin. And it, it was cool. You feel me? I thought I did a great job. But that's what you would probably think of your first time every time. But I obviously didn't. Because the next day, bro, 
The next day we go to school and you know how you get to school at like seven, eight yeah, in the morning yeah. and everybody is in one place before they go to class. Like every senior, freshman, yeah. sophomore, junior is in oh, one place, shit. right? She done right. cold motherfucker. In the middle yeah. of the breezeway, I walk up to her. I try to hug her and shit in front of her friends. She pushed me and she's like, I don't know why the fuck. I even fuck with you. You are dirty and ugly as shit, bro. You have the wackest dick I've ever had in my life. I would never do that shit. Which in front of everybody, loud as shit in the breezeway, bro. Loud as shit. And I'm sitting there. And she's like, do you have anything to say for yourself? And the only thing I could say was, I was a virgin. Right. Everybody bust out oh, laughing, bro. Damn. Oh, my God, bro. To damn. this, To this day, fuck. bro. Bruh, that to is this cold day, bro, blooded. I am still cold hearted. I don't even trust Scorpios because that bitch, bro. Hey, that's, hey bro, I know what the fuck you thought because that's all I dated. That's all I've ever dated low key, bro, was Scorpios. You know Scorpios. how there's that one, I, oh, shit, that one no. sign that make you hate all the signs? She was that. She was that one sign that I was like, I, I can never fuck with this sign. Again. <laughs> I was talking to this girl the other day that was a Scorpio, and we stopped talking. <laughs> she was like, yeah, nah. I was like, nah, you're a Scorpio. You're crazy. Can't even do it. Nah, know, that, like, is, no that, is, scene, that is that is definitely checked off. I found off. out my mom was a Scorpio, and I was like, that's why we don't get along. I don't really care what the Scorpio shit. I mean, is that a problem? Is that, like, I'm asking you. Is you are different. You you are not. I'm Scorpio, are Scorpio, but I mean, like, uh, uh, I don't care. About After this podcast, see me outside. <laughs> it's me and you, big bro. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm nah show you me. good. You I'm straight. Show you what's a problem. See you straight. <laughs> no, Just, I like Scorpio. Man, Zayn well, Prophet, he is Scorpio. Yeah. and that nigga a part of my team. Right, that's I'm what I'm really saying. All the Scorpio dudes I know are cool, but All just Scorpio take a track, know, bro. look back at my exes, Scorpio, and a lot of, a good majority of those are Scorpios. <laughs> like, if a Scorpio came in my life that I really, really like, I would still, like, fuck with <laughs> They all but have I, a certain trait I'm more that's petty, common, though. I'm more petty about it than I am anything. Like, <laughs> like it don't matter to me, but in a way, it does. <laughs> I'm just saying, I usually don't go based off that shit, but every Scorpio lady that I've messed with has this fucking evil this, side I, to them. It's bro, all evil. I, yeah, I am more cautious when it comes to a Scorpio, evil, bro. It's like, no all right, cool, I'm going to fuck with you. But if I see you acting up, I'm going to be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, just like a damn Scorpio. One of my biggest supporters, she's one of my biggest friends ever, bro. I love her to death. Her name is Lauren, and she's a Scorpio. And we get into a Scorpio Leo, and she hates Leos. <laughs> but she loves me, and I hate Scorpios, and I love her. And we get into that debate all the time. All the fucking time. Hell yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, that's that's crazy awkward moment, bro. Uh, if you checked some previous episodes when they drop, um, you will definitely find mine out. I do not want to say it again for the third time <laughs> because I'll get tired of telling that fucking story. You have to tell me later, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got you off the camera. Ooh, I almost <laughs> lost my voice. Hold on now. Ah, PTSD. <laughs> man, nah, for real. Um, one more random question, and then we could get back to the. Uh, music topic and then we're gonna close out say less <sighs> these are usually the ones that get them these are usually the ones I, I'm changing it up I'm not gonna use the same one um uh alright if you were given the chance to have any power for the time span of 10 minutes every hour and you can choose up to three, what would you choose? So am I allowed to use all three powers in a 10 minute time span? Or is it like every 10 minutes I can pick one power to use? You can do either or. Okay. But it just has to be within the hour and then you have a 30 minute, you know, cool down. Okay. Then the next hour comes, you can do it again. Okay, I bet. So I'd say, Invisibility, just for stealth reasons. Right. Um, and you know, there's a lot you could do in ten minutes being invisible, or you there's a, there's a lot of situations you can definitely get out of being invisible for ten minutes, and then mm -hmm. you can go hide somewhere for thirty to cool down. Um, I would say flight, but fuck that, because you know, <laughs> as soon as that ten minutes go down, right, right, you better get to where you're going fast, fast. <laughs> Uh, super speed. Yeah, super speed. Hell yeah. 
super speed for 10 minutes, bruh. Long as you can get where you, long as you know exactly, where long as you going? plan out the route exactly where you're going, and hopefully all of the statistics that super speed doesn't count for you. Right. You could just be like, all right, I'm going here. Mm hmm. And it's like, shoo. And you know you're going to go to. Uh, 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 you got a point. You got a point. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so invisibility, super speed, and ooh, telekinesis. That's my first one. Telekinesis, telekinesis is my first one. Yep. That's everyone's go-to. Yeah. Why, why not? Invisibility, uh, super speed, telekinesis. I would go with telekinesis. Um. The power to speak to animals, so I can understand Ooh, every. You gotta animal. elaborate on that because you know, I, a lot of people say the power to speak to animals, but I don't think y'all niggas really know what that come with. Nah, so me also being under be, being able to understand them and everything, so I'd legit just be you know talking to animals. I'm not gonna use them to like try to hurt motherfuckers or anything, just to be to be able to communicate and like you know. That would be so helpful if you're out in the wild. Dr. And then, do little ass nigga. Nah, see, it's, man, it, it would help so much in the wild. It's ridiculous. What about elements? I'm surprised no one chooses elements. You know why? Like, and like, again, oh, elements, shit. Elements, that's, that's, that makes sense. Almost, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I, yeah. Okay, look, well, bro. Bet. Right? Bet. Like, bet. Well, yeah, because telekinesis, changed you could just manipulate. I changed mine. I changed mine. Okay, so if I had to, like, take one out, I guess I would take out super speed mm -hmm. and take the power to control water at its fullest extent. Yeah. And I mean, like, I can turn it into ice. I can make it boil. Control water at its fullest extent. That's wet. See, that's why I'm surprised no one really does, you know, chooses that one and shit. True. I feel it with telekinesis power and, you know, all that shit. Man, so I got telekinesis, be able to communicate with animals. And then I think my third one, teleportation. Fuck that. Teleportation. <laughs> teleportation. Just teleport anywhere, bro. But I have to, I have to, the thing with that, there has to be a, a like a fucking crutch to that. So I would say anywhere that I can imagine, like if I see a picture of somewhere, I can just teleport to there, that exact spot. See, what I, the problem with that is. If I okay, so it. what if you you're looking at a picture of a place, but it's a super old picture, and that place is not like that anymore? I'll just teleport to some deserted ass. Would you like? Spot. <laughs> yeah, would you teleport? No, like would the drawback be like you teleport to the when the picture was taken, or would the drawback be you teleport to this spot and just be like present there, time? Or it'd be, yeah, yeah, present time. Yeah. It it'd be present okay. time. Yeah, I would just teleport. What I'm wearing right now, present time, it'd still be the same. That'd be day. a cool power though to be able to like time travel and teleport somewhere. Yeah, that would be. But crazy. it was like, yeah, it was like every picture that you you've had of somebody, you can teleport to that time. True, that that'd be scary. But also, I was gonna say like scary as fuck. Yeah, bro. anywhere I've been to as well. Like, so I could teleport to my house right now if I wanted to. Like, oh shit, I left something in L.A. Let me teleport there real quick. Boo. <laughs> I would take pictures of everything all the time. Every time I would spend a large amount of money, I would take a picture and be like, okay, I regret that. And go back, not spend it. Right. That'd be clean. Man. All right. Would so. Would you have to like live into the present though? Like would it. That, yeah. With time travel, that kind of does have, if you can't go back to. Uh, well, okay. So what time. if you like took a picture of your phone of the present time before you jump back? That would be smart. Yeah. I wonder if that would work, though. Like, with, with the time paradise. It, 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 we're getting too deep. Anyway, yeah, deep. right. <laughs> so, this I know this is going to be very hard, but not really hard. But, you know, the typical rap question, who is your top five? Dylon. 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 <laughs> Dylon, Dylon, Dylon. No, uh, we had this conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my top five always goes Andre 3000 He's always number one My top five changes a lot But Andre 3000 will always be number one uh, Number two for me is T-Pain Just because niggas st One, he started a way for you niggas you, 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 There's no lie about that oh, I forgot what this I remember what this nigga said Okay, yep, yeah, continue, go ahead He started away for you My third one Here it comes <laughs> Here the fuck it comes my third one, Smino. And my reasoning, my reasoning, ahead, my reasoning, 
And this is my personal opinion. This is my personal shit. You feel me? You ain't got to agree with me on it. But, like, Smino, I feel like it's going to be one of those new wave of rappers to make a splash, bro. We just don't see it right now because, you know, he in his, like, J.I.D. stage. You feel me? Where it's like, you know, he's very underground, but people still know about him. But he's reaching up there. And then he, if you listen to his music, like, really intently, bro, he mixes his bars with his beautiful sound. Oh, yeah. No, I, I peeped that. You feel me? I like, he's that. a talented motherfucker, bro. And he, he's, he's been around for a minute and made bounds. So I feel like Smito go, everybody going to give Smito his strikes one day, bro. Like, I'm, no, I'm of already course. seeing it. Like, he's just one of those artists that's going to last. You feel me? And that's why I put him in my top five. And then, like, he, he personally, he, him personally... Did some shit for me that helped me with my music, bro. Just, just to show difference. You feel me? Yeah. He came in with the most original sound I heard in a minute, for real. And he just been like that. And I was sleep on him for a while, cause like I've been on Smino since high school, like since Ruby Redbone. Okay. But I really didn't start listening to him until Black Swan. That's when yeah, I really got it. Yeah, that's when that shit dropped. I was like, all right, th- this boy. This nigga, this nigga got something. Yeah. Right? All right, so, you know, we got that. Then we got, like, the Kendrick and J. Cole for the fourth. I, I can't decide between which one. That's fair to put them both at four. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. I always lean between each one, but they all they both have different properties that I line with. And right. they just both deserve that top five spot. You feel me? Right, because they both have good storytelling uh, traits about them. It's just one's from a personal standpoint and then one's from a perspective. Facts. So, you know. Hey, yep. It's pretty dope. That four spot always goes to them. Mm-hmm. And number five is Little John. I was hoping you was going to change that one. <laughs> oh my God, this boy really gets it. Little John. Boy, that's the first time I've ever heard Little John ever make anyone's top five. And that's a shame. I mean, he do be coming with those hits, though. Yes, he Hooks. Okay. Hooks. Ad libs. Right, can, can we all agree Bang. as artists that ad libs are very important? Yes, sometimes? they are. Yeah. Yes, yeah. they are. Can we agree as artists that some songs are made by their ad libs? Yes. yes. Little John all his was the Shakespeare, the rap godfather, the what? rap president. Of yeah. ad libs, there's no better person. There's no better person. There hasn't been a better one since, bro. You can't, bro. Lil John was crazy, and and what y'all niggas don't know is Lil John wrote a lot of the songs that we like today. Yeah, he did. He did. You feel me? Niggas forget that. Lil John put a lot of niggas on. Lil John did a lot. Bruh, he definitely he, deserves a yeah, goat title, but yeah. he is he is a goat. He may not be in nobody top five, but he definitely got to be in somebody top ten. Cause Lil oh, John off tops is amazing, respectable. So he respectable. is my top five spot. Does he have a star? All the time. Yes, he does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does have a star in Hollywood. In terms of party songs, ad libs are super. Important. Yeah, that's where it really comes through. Party songs, yep. like. He had us turn through the mid 2000s. Little John, Little John, you could turn him up at a party. You could shoot a nigga to Little John. You could rave to Little John. You you could have you could fuck your you 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 could have a romantic night with your girl to Little John, and he will ask for consent for you. <laughs> that's true. Little John yeah, that's it, true. It deserves his strikes. Is all I'm saying. That nah, that's, that's facts. Yeah, like, that's true. You know, he, I, don't, I don't know about he's my right. top five, man, but you know he definitely yeah, he, he he's a go. He, he, yeah, that shit is hell. Oh my god, that shit has me weak every time. Even when he had Dave Chappelle and Lil John on there. Every Lil John spook that I've ever seen has never disrespected Lil John. Ever. And that's for a reason. Lil John's always been the punchline and never the butt of the joke. And when he was in, he was starring like fucking uh, that scary movie movie and fucking other shit too, like hell. Lil John made me read books as a kid. Y'all know that? Really? Read a book. Read a book. Read a motherfucking I book. That song. Read a book. I remember Lil that John shit. made me put on deodorant as a kid. Where the odorant, nigga? Where the odorant, nigga? Where the odorant? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your goddamn hands. 
Facts. I don't remember a lot of Don't lot be of dirty. Hygiene is hot. Like, it's a must. Little John don't wrote be dirty. that. <laughs> Little John. Little John. Up there. Little John. Up there. But, um... Yeah, we're coming uh, a little bit closer to the end of the podcast, man. So um, this is the time where I let the guests uh, plug any information that they want people to know, where they can follow you at, where they can find your music, if you got merch, where they can get it at, you know, everything. Let's go with you, know. Hey, you can All right, and that's you. it. I'm joking. I'm fucking with you. See what happens here. Go ahead, see what the, you niggas think you can do this to me? I will have you playing basketball in Pelican Bay. <laughs> anyway, before I was really interrupted, uh, you can follow me on Instagram and pretty much everywhere. Maybe I'm Young. You feel me? You can find my music on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, at Young's Awkward. Um, you can find my merch probably on my Instagram somewhere. I don't know if I have a website out by then. By the time this comes out, I'll, we'll probably, probably shouldn't talk about yeah, it. it'll be, be out. It'll be out. When you see, you'll see that I have merch. Don't worry, you'll see this I have merch. It was awkward here, Mr. Right, 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 aka Michael Jackson's Rebirth. Only the talented part. Yes, yes, yes. And this is smoking with X, where you know we always talk about that real shit.